come out when you should play outside? Mm, no. This is actually quite cold out. It's snowing and I decided to try some painting out here. I did a robin. I drew it a little bit darker so that you guys can see what I'm painting. Um, maybe you can even see my breath. And it's not going to be a perfect robin by any means. I'm just kind of experimenting. I tried doing some spray painting out here with some liquid watercolors and it turned out really really wonderful because as you paint the water actually will freeze and it will leave behind a bit of crystals. And I wish I brought my picture out with me so I know what colors to use but I've got so like I said, this is just an experiment. I'm by no means real good at birds. So I'm just starting, starting them. I just need to
see if I can show you the crystalline. Yeah, you see how that's starting to crystallize? It's going to turn out really cool, just not the way I expected it to. Oh, well. That's what happens with experiments. So yeah. earlier, we were painting outside. And this is how my bird turned out after I brought it in. It froze outside, brought it in, it dried. Um, it warped my book. So um, I also had gone outside and I used my spray painting. I used liquid watercolor with a little bit of water. But a uh, 50-50 mix probably. And I sprayed that on. Um, and I did this with my kids, so, you know, we put snow on, we let the ice freeze. I found that the snow ended up causing a lot of blossoms, or blooms, whatever you want to call them. Um, here's another one. I actually put a huge mound of snow on here and then brought it inside and melted. It caused a huge mess. Um, I did end up with some pretty blooms. Um, it's not as nice. It wasn't the effect I was going for. This is one that my daughter did. You can kind of see the, the crystallization over here, but the rest of it is blooms from the snow. So you don't really want to paint with snow. Um, you want to, unless you like blooms, and I do like blooms, but yeah, this is more what I was trying to go for was over here. Um, and then this last one is probably the one that turned out the best. Uh, you can see it over here and down in here and here and here. So I wonder if I can, I do like how it kind of went into the, the, the chest area a little bit and down in this area. It really turned out nice. And just to give you a comparison, this is the, the liquid watercolor one. So you can kind of see the things that I'm this is kind of more what I'm looking for right over here or or right in here this real sharp jagged look uh, I really like how that looks kind of like Jack Frost got on my painting and had some fun so I'll probably go back in on this with uh, watercolor pencils and defined shapes and find fun stuff in there so we'll see what it turns out